Right, Monday morning. No, it's not morning, it's Monday afternoon. As you can see, we've got first loads of um, wheat going out for the season. That's the first one there, right there. Uh, George is in charge of that, new George. He's in charge of grain. Uh, what I'm doing is sorting out some fertilizer. Well, sorting out the fertilizer shed. I think we've got some MOP. Oh, we've got a gator in the way. I'll find the keys for the gator. We've got some MOP on uh, coming at some point. Strange driving this after driving my electric buggy. It's been a while. Certainly a lot noisier in here than it is in my electric buggy. Yeah, so what I'm doing is in this store we've got some phosphate, which is right here. I'm going to move that. And we've also got some complete, which is NPK, and we've got some nitrogen and sulfur. So I'm just going to sort of get it all a bit organised so we know where everything is before we get our next delivery. Right, we're a bit more organ, a bit more organised now. If I can remember how to talk, uh, we got nitrogen sulphur there and NPK there. By the way, if anybody wants some old silage sides for an old Warwick trailer, send me an email. These ones are looking for a new home. They're in the way. I expect we're going to have a bit of a queue in a minute. There's two more. Oh no, there's already three here. I think there's uh, four coming this afternoon. Okay, Tuesday morning, and I've just washed the weaving drill and taken it off. And I'm going to drive forwards and hope it doesn't fall over. Never had any problems with it falling over before, so it shouldn't do now. It seems to have most of the dirt that was on the drill is now on the tractor, so the tractor is going to get a wash later, but. Before that, I'm going to go up to farm two, pick up the Vadastad drill, and bring that back here and wash that. It looks like the sheep must have got the taste for the turnips because they're eating that off now. They're not trying to escape. wondering why I haven't used this Vadastad drill that much this autumn is because uh, we only use it in real dry conditions uh, when the dust is blowing and I don't think we've seen any dust since the 27th of September was it? This drill can live in this barn for a few weeks. And trouble is the tractor doesn't fit in, so I can't go back too far. I think that will do about there. Alright, Thursday today. And as you can see, I'm unloading some fertilizer. This is potash, MOP. What I'm unloading. I don't think it'll be getting put on the fields anytime soon. Normally we do put it on in the autumn. Um, and if we do get a dry spell in November, it may get put on the arable fields. But right now, <laughs> the, the fields are awash. When it rains, it pours in England. We had 20 to 30 mil Monday night. And then last night, as in Wednesday night, we had another 28 mil. It just, like I say, when it rains, it pours. It just absolutely chucks it down. It seems to be the way it goes these days. Just if we can get four on it. Got it. Need one of those bag lifters with the hydraulic um, side shift. There we go, we got it. We got it. This is uh, low two out of two. We had one yesterday. We spent the day yesterday washing. Uh, washing more kit, 
and we wash the header, I wash the Bateman, uh, jobs like that really. Right, it's Friday lunchtime. I'm just out walking the dog at Farm One. Uh, as you've just seen, I've put the hedge cutter on now on my tractor, and um, she's all greased up and flail sharpened, ready to go. Um, so whenever I've got free time, nothing to do in the yard, I shall go out uh, hedge cutting. I've got loads to do, as you've seen in previous years of me hedge cutting. This is. Um, the winter barley that was drilled actually I drilled this field exactly seven days ago last Friday and um, yeah after 60 mil of rain it's looking a bit washed and this is the reason why we don't roll this ground unless if they had forecasted another two weeks of dry weather Eric Eric if they had forecasted another two weeks of dry weather we would have probably rolled it but can you see look it's all just sort of melted and slumped together all this soil and that's why we don't roll it when we forecast rain because it just forms a seal and then no oxygen can get down to the seed and we'll get me knife we'll t see if we can dig up a seed we've had a couple of days of well we're on our second day now of dry weather so it's given it a bit of a break but it's pretty wet as you can see it's not ideal for winter barley there we go look you see that the seed's got a little shoot on it so this time next week it'll probably be coming up it's starting to come up got a shallow one there look it's got a slightly bigger shoot on it. That's the trouble with that weaving drill. It's got a habit of varying the seed depth. It's not very precise. You get some shallow ones and some deep ones and you've just got to try and find a bit of a happy medium in seed depth. Right, it's a bit windy right now. I'm, hope, I'm hoping that the wind's going to die this afternoon, die down. And uh, I've got to go and do some spraying on the winter barley up at farm two. All right, last job of the week, it's Friday afternoon. The wind has dropped down enough to be able to come out spraying. Eric's on hair watch. He likes watching out for the wildlife. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting this 70 hectares of winter barley sprayed. What we drilled back in September. Barley's looking well. Seems to be getting over its uh, chemical take up quite quickly and it is growing. Uh, what I'm putting on this barley is an insecticide. Um, basically, the seed used to 
come with a dressing on it, uh, well, an insecticide dressing on it, uh, but that got banned. So now we have to spray it on, which isn't really very good. I think it was probably better just being on the being on the seed, and then anything that actually tried eating the leaf would have been killed instead of every insect that's on the floor right now is going to get killed. So I don't know why the government, well, the government banned the neonicotinoids because of um, it was it, well they they, um, they say it was affecting the bee population in flowering flowering crops um, so I don't know why they planned that why they banned it on cereal crops which is very annoying it's the same on the wheat we have to spray that with insecticide as well because otherwise the what we're trying to kill is the aphids because the aphids spread uh, the disease uh, which affects the crop basically BYDV is the is the disease oh, I'm trying to drive with one hand if you're wondering why we've got a big bear patch here, it's because we're going to bring a load of muck up here in the winter and tip it there. This is nice uh, free draining soil here. I'm up at farm two. Hence I'm driving around out in the fields. You wouldn't be driving out in the fields at farm one, as you saw earlier. I'd be making ruts. But this is all free draining, chalky, flinty soil. Yeah, so I get this job done this afternoon, then that's me done for the weekend. I'm having a free day weekend this weekend because the wife is gonna going away with her, her uh, sister and mother. So I'm looking after the kids. So I've taken Monday off. And I'll be back to uh, work on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, I've got a few things planned for next week which I will record or video. So I shall see you then. We got a cracking sunset tonight. At least this machine does come with a, a good set of LED lights. We'll see where we're going. We'll see the booms. <laughs> 